What's up guys, my name is Brian Corretto. I'm a US CPA based out of Mexico City and on this channel I teach you accounting, audit, and everything it takes to be an awesome CPA. Today I'm gonna go over basic journal entries for cash. Hopefully after today's video you understand the normal balance of cash and what typical business transactions impact it and whether you're gonna debit or credit cash. Hopefully if you're a super advanced CPA this video probably isn't for you but if you're barely starting to get into accounting or look or thinking about getting into accounting stay and watch this video and hopefully you understand a little bit more of how accounting works and how to record journal entries for cash. So before we even go into debits and credits I really want you to understand what if a debit or credit increases cash or decreases cash. Again, just think about the cash account for right now. So this is our kind of journal entry cheat sheet. And, and then the nor this is going to go over the normal balance of accounts. So the normal balance of dividends is a debit, the normal balance of expenses is a debit, the normal balance of assets is a debit, which if you increase that, which the normal balance of these accounts are debits, and when you increase them, when you debit them, they are increased. When you credit these accounts, they are decreased. Now we go to the credit side. Liabilities, equity, and revenue have a normal credit balance. These increase when credited and decrease when debited. Keep that in mind while we're going through the, the various different aspects of the, of the different transactions that are impacting cash. And remember, cash is an asset because we're gonna get some type of future economic benefit from that, uh, from that, from that cash. So it's defined as an asset since it has a normal debit balance. It's gonna increase when debited. So it, in order to increase cash, we're gonna debit cash. In order to decrease cash, we would credit cash. Just think about whether the business transaction is increasing it or decreasing it. Think about the normal balance based on our journal entry cheat sheet. Since it's a normal, since it's an asset, cash is an asset, we're gonna get some future economic benefit from it. It increases when debited and decreases when credited. Keep that in mind while we're going through the different various accounting transactions. So, our first accounting transactions here with our fictitious company, BCCPA, which we're, we are an accounting firm that provides audit, tax consulting, and all these various different things. And we're gonna start the CPA firm and we're gonna invest $5,000 into the business. So the business has nothing right now. We just, we just incorporated, we're good to go. And we are now gonna debit, we are gonna put $5,000 in the business in exchange for some owner's equity or some shares in the company. So we are, since now keep this in mind, going back to our cheat sheet, cash, it has a normal debit balance because it's an asset, right? Assets have a normal deb debit balance. They increase when debited and decrease when credited. So now we're gonna go back to our example. So if we're putting cash into the business, is cash being increased or de Like, are we taking cash out or are we putting cash in? Cash is being increased, right? Since cash is an asset account and assets have a normal debit balance, they increase when debited. So we would, oh, no, wrong example. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, owner invest 5,000 into the business. Since we are gonna increase cash, is it a debit or a credit? We're gonna debit it, right? Because we're gonna increase cash. So our first on our first transaction, we're gonna debit cash and credit equity. Don't worry about the credit side right now. I don't want you guys to get so confused. Just, I want you to start understanding the normal balance of accounts. Again, cash is an asset account. It increases when debited and decreases when credited. So since we're gonna put $5,000 into the business, we're gonna increase cash, right? So we would debit cash, debit cash and credit stockholders equity or equity in the company. All right, second transaction. And mind you, keep it in mind, whether cash is being increased or decreased and cash with a normal debit balance, because if we go back to our example, cash is an asset. Since cash is an asset, it increases when debited and decreases when credited. Back to our example, purchase supplies. The business purchases supplies, some pencils, papers, pay, you know, different stuff to run the, run the CPA firm and for $1,200. So if we're gonna purchase supplies, this is a cash outlay, right? So, so is cash increasing or decreasing? Cash is decreasing. If we're gonna decrease cash, and cash has a, nor has a normal, it's a normal debit balance, we're gonna decrease cash, so we're gonna credit cash. So we would debit purchase supplies or purchase expenses. Again, don't, look about the, uh, don't think about the other side of the entry right now, I don't want you to get confused. We would credit cash because we're gonna decrease cash. Cash has a normal debit balance and we're gonna decrease it so we're gonna credit it. 
the third transaction that we had. We finally are in business, now we're, we're making money, now we're actually selling accounting services, and now we earned 2,500 from services provided. So, we received cash. Oh, pretend that there's, there's no accounts receivable, it's an example. We literally got paid in cash from our client. So if we did services, we performed services, our services are complete, we got paid in cash, we're receiving cash, cash is increasing, cash has a normal debit balance, cash is an asset, it increases when debited and decreases when credited. Since we're going to increase cash, we would debit cash for the 2500 we received and we would credit revenue uh, for the revenue that, for the services we provided. The fourth transaction that we have, now it's the end of the month. We gotta pay rent for our office space. So since cash is, it's a cash outlay, we're outlaying cash, cash is being decreased, cash is an asset account, the normal balance of cash is a debit, do we decrease cash or do we, since cash is being decreased, do we debit it or credit it? Again, going back, going back to this cheat sheet, cash is an asset, increases when debited, decreases when credited. Since we're gonna decrease cash, we're gonna credit cash for the $1,500 of rent that we need to pay. Now, even me as a CPA for 10 years, I still use T accounts till this day. I still use T accounts because they're so helpful. So if we look at all of our business transactions from day one, so we look at day one, initial owner invests 5,000 into the business, that increased cash, so we debit cash. Uh, second transaction, the business, the business purchased supplies for $1,200. We paid cash, cash is being decreased, cash has a normal debit balance, increases when debited, decreases when credited. We're gonna credit cash for the 1,200. The third business transaction, the business earns 2,500 from services provided. We receive cash, cash is being increased, cash has a normal debit balance, increases when debt assets, increase when debited, decrease when credited. We receive cash, cash is being increased, we're gonna debit cash for $2,500. The fourth business transaction, rent. We paid rent for 1,500. Cash outlay, cash is going down, cash is an asset. Assets increase when debited because of normal debit balance and decrease when credited. If we're gonna decrease cash, we're gonna credit cash for $1,500. And at the end of the month, after these four business transactions, we are left with $4,800 on our balance sheet because we put the initial cash in, we paid for, we paid for supplies, we received $2,500 from services provided, and we then paid $1,500 for our rent. So if we were to have a balance sheet at that point in time, at the end of the month, we would be left with $4,800. Hopefully this, this video was helpful. Hopefully this helped you understand journal entries a little bit more, especially when it comes to cash. But understanding this cheat sheet on tab, on tab two here, where I have the dividends, expenses, and assets, these all increase when debited and decrease when credited. And on the credit side, the normal balance of liabilities, equity, and revenue are credit. These increase when credited and decrease when debited. Again, understanding the normal balance of accounts is gonna be the key to understanding journal entries. And since cash is an asset account, it increases when debited and decreases when credited. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to smash the like button below. Let me know what else I can go over. I'm happy to go over more of these kind of live in, uh, I don't know, like these co teaching courses. I absolutely love doing this stuff. I love accounting. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Till next time, peace.